This is another little film about what I'm doing generally. I'm 82 years of age. For eight years I had a stool here where this my van is parked selling eggs and honey. And this is now the 22nd of January 2016. But this here late afternoon I come up and I met my old friend Harry Kent who had been here for three generations. And uh, <clears throat> we're back in the old cowboy days where all tricks count. You can't get rid of somebody, burn him out. And that's what happened. Somebody tried to burn him out. This is his little supermarket here. He is built by sort of scaffolding and tables and opening four hours a week. <coughs> Apparently, the only way to get rid of it, burn the bastard out if you don't like him selling stuff here. And uh, somebody didn't like it. Here he is. Old ice pensioner looking at let's just see, see what happens. The canvas has totally melted. Nothing scarred, the trees died in the back. In the middle of the night the fire engine come up, somebody sprayed petrol on everything. And look at that. The stainless steel benches are bent, the onions left over is cooked, and there is melted plastic on the ground everywhere. Wow! Now this might be, I would think, the best advertising hair I could ever get. Maybe not the intention of the arsonist, and I don't really know. I myself have been subjected to um, uh, that sort of treatment. Somebody shot 40 chickens one day and left them lying around the yard, but nobody was interested. It's like opening a can of worms, the police told me. Maybe it is, but this one here, we are going to benefit somehow. It's going to be left like it is and the market will continue. I'm sure it, the word will get around what happened. What you see is what happened. Wow, look at that. Trenton Village Markets. We're still here and we'll still be here for a long time yet. So take that lot. Now you've seen that? Okay, bye. This is now Thursday, oh, what happened on Sunday night, in the dark middle of the night, and we have put a warning sign up, managed to upset the owner considerably, so he does not want that to happen again, so they've been warned, do not do that here, and we are taking away the rubbish, some of it, to be left for evidence when the police come, if they ever come. This is a surprising part of it. As far as fire brigade, the police, they hardly know about it. They have been informed, I asked them, and they said, what's that about? Is it true? Four days later, we have put up a canvas on part of it. Part of it is still open to a blue sky. And uh, over here, also. But over the nine checkouts, the three checkouts we have with E plus, F plus, and uh, queues out here for four hours, you've been noticed. Now, something of interest, which I think uh, the shade behind the dot castle light, somebody uh, informed the fire brigade to put it out and left, left again, but they did not wake Harry up. And do you know something interesting? I think, have a look here, right there, four meters away, if that was Harry asleep. And that is, we do not know how many liters of petrol there was poured everywhere, but there was certainly a lot of petrol. I think somebody should be out watching videos from the service stations around to see who bought petrol this time of the night. But, um, of course, the police have to be interested first. Is this a case with a land boarding on three streets, Ferguson Drive, on Furley Street, and uh, worth some millions? Is there more interest than the sportsman of the year? I'm only asking anybody disposable because of what he owns. There could be 16 houses here in the cul-de-sac. Of it. But of course, 
kind of open or something like that. It's just, but let's have a look. Still here, sportsman of the year, and still here. It takes a bit more than that. We will stay here for a long time. Trentum Village Market is now Saturday. I think well, far we got uh, uh, the 30th at the end of May. And um, it's been a quiet day. Uh, there's horse racing and some thing going on in Harcourt Park. It makes a difference. But uh, we'll just check see what's happening here. And there is a, you can see, the See them clearly. Um, the three checkouts persons there. One and Harry. Two and uh, three. All dressed in green jackets. And uh, we have had this fire. And the warning sign have, the sign have been put up. Um, that you're not allowed to do that sort of thing here, arson. And um, uh, we have put up a canvas, so part of it has been repaired again. And um, the trees above this scaffolding building. Quite, quite big trees. They have died too in the heat. See? Scorched. Dead. One, two, three, four big trees. Absolutely finished. Now, um, there's still been no reaction, no investigation of any kind. Uh, according to Harry, the matter from the Oberhard police was apparently closed down at night, so the criminal had free reigns in Oberhard. But uh, he's been sent to Wellington, but I've yet to hear anything from them, if it is remotely interesting anyway. But um, we're still here, and my stool over here, we'll just have a pause and have a look at that. There. My wife is doing it today, <laughs> and uh, Very good. eggs, honey, and some garlic, and other things. And here's my hey, friend. How are you? Oh, I've got a cook back, but um, yeah, I'm still, back a bit. yeah. Hey. And there's also a cake store, yeah. and uh, another store. So we have four stores today. But uh, anyway, we're still here. It is now two weeks later and uh, Saturday morning. Market is about 10 o'clock, so you can mind horses are down a bit later. And, but we have, we're still here and we look, we have a bit of sign up. Here. This is a bus stop just outside. Kent's nurseries. We're going to have a look closely. Here are the vegetables of different sorts. Not many, but fresh and cheaper than anywhere else. The checkouts, three of them. And uh, the repairs, there's a little bit in the corner there. And two canvases have been repaired. And another one here. Uh, according to the fire brigade, this was completely a place when they arrived. It's only 300 meters down the road to fire the gate. They were in record time. A passing police patrol uh, notified them by radio. See the trees behind being killed. And we'll see from a distance the whole trees, in fact. But uh, they class it as an incident. And uh, not quite sure what the reason was. We call it possible arson. Well, 
to sit this tire still bends a light uh, without any accelerant would be very very difficult for use. Buckle the stainless steel sheet that must be used lots, lots, lots of petrol to do it and to get away fast. I think the getaway car is parked here and somebody shouting, no traffic, go now and then run. That's why the police dog could not find that trace. It was well planned. Here, seen from the other side, you see the canvas there in it and the trees. Three of them, quite big ones, this one behind this one here, have been killed totally. They will do it. Barker is being red hot too. Now that is fully a place up to the top of that. Wow. Yeah, last segment of the little film of Harris Burnout. We have sort of prepared a little bit for it. We are not amused. That's our comment. Your comment, please, on Facebook, on the yeah, I can't. Now, we still have the three takeouts. The worst of the morning things, and the uh, two all in green jackets, and all the fresh, absolutely fresh, and cheaper than the supermarket. Okay. Anyway, something has happened. We no longer two stores, and in effect, the market is bigger. And also, and other things are coming. Okay, the fresh plants, the cakes, flowers. But in the back, our newly acquired advertising burnout plants. I can't burn out, he's not used to much on his well, sportsman of a year, too much biking. This is different, this is the real thing. We have repaired some of them canvases. Now I'm going to reflect a little bit on on um, the philosophy and psychology on this. I think there is something interesting about this. What would you call it? Can of worms, greed, and uh, maybe even hatred. I, go, I have no idea, but I will try. I'll do my best. You can choose what you might believe. Up at the other end from the market, the nursery, what there once was, is now uh, what appears to be an absolute mess and disorganized, growing weeds everywhere and you can hardly see and get around. <coughs> but is it really true or not? As First glance. Let's have a closer look. Something here. This is uh, peppers. Just planted, they're coming on. Each of them have a little tube in for automatic watering. There are, there are thousands of them. Only we are different sorts. Can you see? Can you see the tubes? Yeah. Okay, and let's have a closer look over here. Tomatoes, loads of them, and it goes on. Uh, there are weeds in amongst them, but more peppers, more tomatoes, and more. I, I think they're being picked and ready. Some of them probably already sold, I would think so. Freshly picked, only minutes from the market. We go around here and have a look. And probably more miss, what have you. But it's not really true. Native plants, trees, bushes, more tomatoes, right down to the other end. 
and clearing land for more with his old tractor. Yes, I will admit he needs help, but don't think he's not doing anything. He is, I think for one man, he's been working hard. I have the fire station's report here. They call it an incident. And uh, the station um, was here, it was just um, 300 meters up the road. And incident started in 25th. Let's see if I can follow it now. Um, 25th, 2.47 in the morning and finished at um, 3.04 and those various things the police called them passing passing um, patrol car and um, they had down here in minutes start to alert one minute alert to arrival three minutes start to arrival um, four minutes start to depart to 37 mil. Uh, that includes, um, of course, um, um, packing up, getting there, everything else. Let's just have another pace and see. Um, now there's another thing here. Uh, what they have used, low pressure delivery and um, imagine camera. Yeah, this just goes slowly now, yeah. Uh, and um, many things. Heat source. Let's see if we can find that. I'm having problems here. Here we are. Um, we are having heat source. Nothing. Um, and many, many things. But anyway, uh, indicated course. Um, undetermined. Certainty that low, kind of keep me low key. Eight a person, unknown. Intensity, wow. Sportsman of the year, he's unknown. Even the gender, oh, wow, really. Now, anyway, they said here, down here, something interesting. Possible arson, yeah. And further down, uh, information contained in this report and this information should not be released to any person. I, I thought about that. I phoned him up and he was in Napier at the time and said, can I not talk about it? Oh yeah, no, that one, that was no, no confidentiality about that one. I hope you alive. And just to make sure I took a note of the time I phoned him. But anyway, let's go on. Glenn Hudson, very good. Now, Building owner, when we got it here. Property use. Uh, residential. It had actually been declared part of it, commercial. Part of the part of our problem, I think. Special property use. What got that one thing right? Vestibles. And um, they have extinguished only. Now, anything else? Well, now we've seen that. I'm back at the market and uh, very fine day. And my stone down there, my wife is there, and another three stones, and here is Kent Market. No. There, this um, fire report, and the police have not called, and we now got halfway through February. Uh, yeah, three weeks later, and they don't even know who it was, even his gender. Uh, what, do you, what do you call it, perhaps, low-key uh, reaction of uh, not high preference? I don't know. Arson may be very low. Anyway. Uh, if you reflect on um, having owning something, your own place, freehold, the garden, gate, garages, and uh, the park, be your own boss. 
many people's dream. But uh, take a little step further, my friend says, owning something is not only you own it, you have a uh, liability, responsibility to pay the rent, to keep it up. And what neighbors think, you know, I don't know anything. Uh, can I take it a step further? Owning something is worth something. Well over one million, maybe a lot more. Become, could become more than a liability. Could it become a occupational hazard? I think it could. My mom's and dad's freehold farm in Denmark. My sister uh, in Denmark was obsessed by greed. Took them old people's home and got the whole thing signed into her name. Yeah. I'm very happy if I should never see her again. Uh, but I was in New Zealand and I was not sure. So I don't care about that part. But I, I do think they brought us up during the war and we have a bit of leaving them alone in the wilderness. But no, the question is how his grandparents, his parents, and now himself. Uh, his grandparents and uh, parents were married. Uh, yeah, I started off that too, but times change, and this, as it happened, belonged to the nursery, not to her. He still, he still have not opened his uh, old mother's will. He doesn't. Nobody knows if he owns it or not. So therefore, there was nothing to divide. He still worked for years hours for the nursery. He owned it. Very unusual. But anyway, that, that's what happened. But the question is now. He knows what the will says, how it gets on. But is he entitled to decide his own destiny, being owner of something freehold or not? Or should greedy persons decide what would happen and scare hell out of me until he leaves? Are we living in the Wild West or not? Now, the last bit of this film, and just like any other, Last page, who done it? And uh, can we find a suspect? Have a stick with a hundred dollar note hanging down from a little string about a foot or so. Put on top of somebody's head. If you start walking me in that direction, you might have a suspect. I think it is great. So to say, I, I do not believe what police believe, what anybody else believes, this is not a domestic, but it's certainly, I think, very low key. And I was told to keep my nose out of it, like open a can of worms. But uh, interesting or not, we want your comment on Facebook. What do you think? Look up Facebook on the hair Kent. Let us know. We should all know. Even who's done it, we know, we all know, they know, we know. Bye.